The Junkers F-13 was the world's first all-metal passenger plane and Junkers' first commercial aircraft. Developed in Germany at the end of World War I, 322 such planes were produced, an exceptionally large number for a commercial airliner of the time, and were used worldwide. By the early 1920s it accounted for more than a third of air traffic. Produced from 1919 to 1932, the airplane's design included a corrugated duralumin metal skin as a reinforcing element. The corrugation was both a strength and a weakness. On the one hand it provided greater strength, on the other it increased drag. Technology common to early Junkers. It was one of the most representative aircraft models intended for the early post-war commercial aviation market and the first all-metal commercial aircraft to go into mass production. The aircraft featured a semi-enclosed cockpit for the crew with no side windows, positioned behind the single engine. Behind was an enclosed, heated cabin for four passengers, featuring windows and doors along the sides of the fuselage. The passenger seats were equipped with seat belts, an unusual detail for the time. The F-13 initially used a 185 horsepower water-cooled BMW IR inline engine. It was later produced in many variants using Mercedes, BMW, Junkers, and Armstrong inline engines. The F-13, which made its maiden flight on June 25, 1919, featured fixed landing gear, but could be replaced with floats or skis. At a time when landing strips were rare, the F-13's versatility in being able to adapt the landing gear allowed it to make landings anywhere, making it a pioneer in the skies of its time. It was also used for to-mail transport, highlighting its adaptability and innovation. After World War I, civilian aircraft manufacturers found themselves competing with a significant amount of surplus military aircraft, which could be converted at an affordable cost. German manufacturers, in particular, faced additional challenges because of the restrictions imposed by defeat in World War I Junkers, in response to this scenario, distinguished themselves by picking up orders abroad, including countries such as Austria, Poland, the United States, England, France, Italy and Japan. The F-13 was a very popular civilian aircraft carrying an estimated 40% of the world's air traffic in the early 1920s. It remained in production for 13 years and in commercial service for more than 30. Many have survived in various states of preservation in museums, and a replica of the model was put back into production in the 2010s, resuming flight nearly a century after its first flight.